changes are coming to the way the internet is regulated. I'm Diana Blass with CRN TV. Today I'm coming to you from Boston where I'm digging in to the SEC's repeal of net neutrality. What is responsible for the phenomenal development of the internet? Well, it certainly wasn't heavy handed government regulation. The vote came down on Thursday. It puts more power in the hands of broadband companies who are now able to speed up some websites, block or slow down others as long as they disclose it to the public. And that's putting tech companies on the defensive. Hi, welcome to Wasabi. It's not good for the uh, the engine of creativity and entrepreneurship that has driven the American tech business. Friend is the founder and CEO of Wasabi, a hot storage company delivering fast, low cost cloud storage. He's also the founder of Carbonite, one of the world's leading cloud backup companies, a company that could be greatly impacted by repeal of net neutrality. When we entered the market in 2005, I think it was, or 2006, uh, we had uh, as, com as competitors, companies like Comcast and, and Verizon who were offering consumer backup products. And um, if they had been able to slow down my product uh, so that people would buy theirs instead of mine, um, maybe that company would have failed. The Obama administration put in place the regulations in 2015 as a way to better protect Americans' access to the Internet. After a decade of debate, these rules finally provide strong safeguards for free expression and innovation. The repeal will take effect in two weeks and many have joined in to stop it, like Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy. Well, Massachusetts will sue to protect your right to go online and to protect your wallet. For more of our coverage on net neutrality, be sure to visit our website, CRN.com.